Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are now on iTunes with our podcast of all the shows and news. Here is a link below. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week sees Deloitte sign as the first Australian implementation partner for SAP Concur. Australia and New Zealand has recently become Concur's first certified implementation partner. Deloitte will configure SAP's Concur solutions directly for its clients, along with continuing to provide existing client-scale integration services, including solution design, project governance and change management. SAP Concur ANZMD Matthew Goss said, this milestone certification with Deloitte reflects the increasing demand in the Australian and New Zealand marketplace for smarter and more scalable travel, expense and invoice management solutions delivered as a service. Deloitte advisory partner Greg Haskins said, being recognised as an SAP Concurred Certified Implementation Partner was the logical next step for our practice, having already worked with 80 clients in adopting SAP Concur. This designation means that we can deliver the end-to-end -end implementation cycle, which gives our clients a lot of confidence in our time box delivery approach. This week, Microsoft is set to announce the acquisition of GitHub. Bloomberg has said that the deal had come about because GitHub had a favorable opinion of the Microsoft chief executive, Satya Nadella, and preferred to be acquired rather than go public. There has been no mention yet of how much Microsoft would pay for GitHub, which has been valued at 2 billion US dollars back in 2015. GitHub has about 27 million software developers working on 80 million repositories, with Microsoft being one of the bigger contributors. Bloomberg has said that the acquisition talks have been going on between Microsoft and GitHub for a few years, with the recent talks started around a partnership, but have now moved on to discussing a purchase. This week sees Apple blocking the Telegram app updates, the app creator claims. The founder of Telegram, Pavel Dorov, said in a blog post that as a result, some features of his app, such as stickers, would not work as they should under iOS 11.4, even though a fix had been issued. Dorov said that Apple had blocked Telegram from updating its iOS apps globally after Russian authorities ordered the iPhone maker to remove the app from its app store. Russia's telecom regulator began blocking the app on the 16th of April after a Moscow court ordered the ISPs to shutter the service following the refusal of its founder to provide authorities with decryption keys for all the users and private conversations. Dorov said that as a result we've also been unable to fully comply with the GDPR for our EU users by the deadline of the 25th of May. We are continuing our efforts to resolve the situation and will keep you updated. This week sees the ABC sack 37 people from the technology team. Australia's national broadcaster, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, will sack 37 staff from its technology team, saying it would prioritise digital products, content management and core technology capabilities in line with the investing in audience strategy. In a statement, the organisation said the remaining technology staff would be folded into a product and content technology team, which would include people who had expertise in product design and development. It said that under the new proposal, the ABC would double its investment in digital products for audiences to recognise the shift from broadcast to digital platforms. The proposal also included a flatter structure to enable faster and more streamlined decision making and accountability. ABC Chief Digital and Information Officer Helen Clifton claimed this would strengthen the ABC's ability to deliver more to audiences. These are hard decisions, but the right ones to guarantee the ABC remains properly equipped now and into the future with so many rapid changes in technology. This proposal will ensure we are a future-focused media organisation able to meet changing audience expectations and will strengthen our commitment to delivering outstanding content and media experiences to our Australian audiences. 
I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum on the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.